so I just picked up the order at uh, it's uh, 7 Eleven Valley. Um, this person, I'm skeptical about this person because they have it as um, hand, hand to recipient, so they want me to hand it to them. But it's asking me, I think it asked me, I'm not sure. I clicked. I just clicked confirm to be honest. I just clicked through it. I didn't want to read it. But if I'm sure I read it right, it wants me to get their signature. Because I forgot where I saw this, but online I saw that it, they request just this a door that starts to request request their signatures after multiple. multiple reports of you not getting your order you know so now they start requesting your your signature i read that somewhere but yeah um i decided i'm gonna wear the camera i don't want to risk nothing i am they already texted me they're like what did they say when you come in the gate time time message when you come in the gate make it left then make it right then they make it right okay thank you yeah so they're already giving me directions to how to get there like donuts they were donuts at 4 p.m i don't know i don't know but i think i'm here but yeah we'll see how this goes I parked over here, so, hello. Okay. Gotcha, thank you, okay. have a good day. Uh, the Sonic order? Uh, no, I only got this one. Oh, okay. so it's the separate order? Yeah, oh, okay. so, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. So yeah, that was a quick $3 order. <laughs> she saw me reporting <laughs> this goofball. Yeah, uh, anyways, yeah, as you saw, I had kind of your signature for that order. Because I read, I read somewhere on Reddit, I forgot where I read this, or someone commented that when someone reports them, like, that they don't collect the order, that you start having to collect your signatures. And to be honest, I haven't been recording my DoorDashes in a minute. Like I usually post like twice a week or once a week. Thank you to everyone who subscribes. We're currently like at 300. Or are we at 300, 250? I don't know, something around there. I don't know, we're like, we're like a good amount. Thank you to everyone who subscribes and who keeps watching. Uh, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please like and subscribe. It motivates me to post. Cause, because it's basically cutting in my hours of me being able to do DoorDash in this car. I'm instead editing videos which is not that much but it takes a while to upload and stuff like that but um like i was saying back to what we were saying yeah it's like your signature and then she asked me about a different order oh she added a one dollar tip on the 7-eleven order she added a tip oh, cool yeah yeah she, she just added a tip how oh, cool and um, right now there's a 7 11 7 uh, an Instacart order for seven dollars and a food for less order for 22 dollars but 10 miles I'm not doing 10 miles and then on DoorDash is currently nothing but yeah currently nothing on um on DoorDash so I'm gonna try and do some homework but yeah oh, what's it called Yeah, it was a three dollar order. Now it's a four dollar order. Hmm. Whatever. Oh, it all makes sense now. If my almonds, <laughs> if my almonds make sense. So the reason that you, uh, I'm in the video, you saw I was in the wrong place. I was texting her, telling her like, "Oh, I'm here outside." She's like, "I have a floor mat. You're in the wrong place." Then, like, mm, I'm here in ninety one six two apartment one hundred one. Like, I'm right here. And then, I don't know if you saw, she sent me a message, no, that's the wrong place. Uh, the apartment in another side, apparently. 
So I'm guessing that she actually doesn't falsely report her orders that she doesn't get them. She actually does not get them because her she has the wrong address on her DoorDash. On her DoorDash, she has the wrong address. So when people that on an Instacart, to be honest, I would have left it. If it's a me customer, I would just left it on Instacart. Go on DoorDash because it's um it's food. It's kind of like hot. Like I don't know, it's just different. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, for Instagram, I don't think I would wait yet. It was just me, customer. But I would just take a send them a picture either way. But on DoorDash, yeah. So yeah, I solved the mystery. It's right there that she wasn't actually falsely reporting DoorDashes that she didn't get her food. She actually doesn't get her food because she has it in the wrong address on, on the app. So she should probably fix that if she wants to get her orders. But yeah, she added a one dollar tip afterwards, which isn't a bad. At four dollars, that was like it was less than a mile or two miles, basically. That's a dollar a mile, basically, since I'm going there and back. Which I wasn't doing much. I was just trying to uh, catch up on homework. I have like about four more weeks of school for this semester, then I have like one, one, one other semester, I think, to finally graduate. So yeah. Um. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, next part of this video. For the best of both kitchens, collaborate to make a delicious double bacon guacamole burger. Would you like to try one today? Uh, no thank you. Right now when you're ready. I'm here to pick up a DoorDash for Ian. Alright, the DoorDash is full forward. Thank you. Thank you. Come for and pick up. Six dollars for five miles. I'm like two percent away from eighty percent. So I'm looking up for this truck that's on this side. You see him? Right there. And if you want to leave here. See so yeah, I'm looking both ways, I'm trying to record a video. But yeah, five miles away. I'm like 2% away from getting 80% acceptance rate. And that might be one of my objectives to get to 100% acceptance rate. To see whether it's worth it if you get more better orders. Because some people say not even the, the, what's it called? The dash now it's option is worth it. Like some people say that's not worth it. Like what? What are you talking about? The dash now option is so worth it so that you don't have to schedule. But yeah, uh, I'll see if they're telling the truth. I'm gonna try to get a hundred percent something straight. Of course I'm gonna do some <laughs> some hundred mile orders that I've seen. Uh, but if it's like if it's like awful but as doable I'm gonna do it. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm dropping this off. I was on low battery still. <laughs> no, they're four dollars. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna accept it. Um Yeah, um There's a seventeen dollar one. Should we go do this one instead? It's a house also, but uh, maybe I'll cancel it, maybe not. I'm not sure. Seventeen dollars, but no two. Okay, so um, yeah, I canceled that DoorDash. 
I was like, nah, I'm not doing that DoorDash. I'd rather go do this Oberton's order, which I just accepted it. It went up to $19. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this order instead of the State of Brother, instead of the Pizza Hut order. Four dollars. Now I'm getting nineteen dollars, and I have like thirty minutes until I'm like done for tonight. Cause I got school tomorrow, so yeah. So uh, maybe I'll shop with the camera on this one, maybe. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the store.